That's what she said, it was just a fling. I caught her with another man. She gave him her body, shared his passion, satisfied his desires, but it meant nothing. I should have understood, forgiven her, taken her back. After all, it was just an affair. There was no disdain in her words, she was desperate. I should have realized it meant nothing, it was just sex. All should be forgiven. It meant something to me, it bloody well meant something to me. How many of our co-workers knew? This knew I was an ignorant cuckold, felt sorry for me, laughed at me behind my back. How many knew she was lying to me, playing me, and all the while secretly having sex with another man? But it was just an affair. I wonder how many hours she spent teasing him, talking to him, making eyes at him, flirting with him, signaling her interest in him over me. I wonder how often she picked out her clothes in the morning, thinking about how he would react. I wonder if she thought about the fact that her first kiss with him was a betrayal to me. After all, it was just a fling, it didn't mean anything. I wonder what she thought when she first went to lunch with him alone, smiling and laughing at his jokes, touching his hand, and looking into his eyes. Was she thinking about me sitting at my desk, eating the sandwich I'd brought with me and working through my lunch break? I tried not to imagine the first time she agreed to go to dinner with him and told him she'd have to stay late at work. I tried, but the image lodged itself in my brain. Was she thinking about the lies she told me, or did it mean nothing? Was there a dance, or they just sitting in a booth in the back row, holding hands, and talking quietly to each other? Was that when they first kissed? How had he first suggested they get a room? She must have seen it coming by now, but she had done nothing to dissuade him. Moreover, she had encouraged him in every way possible, in little and not so little ways. She knew where this would lead, she must have planned it all out, decided how long she could afford to be away from the house, and would I or someone we knew catch them? And when the request came, did she have to think about it? Did she agonize over the decision? Did she think about me? It was just a fling, it meant nothing. She only loved me. It was just a little fun. He was no threat to me. I didn't have to get hurt. She probably thought she was good at hiding things, and I'd never know. If I don't know, then it's okay. She wouldn't hurt me if I never found out. The problem was that while her mind was consumed with thoughts of him, I was thinking of her. I was paying attention. I saw her moods change, her distractions, her loss of interest in me. I knew something was wrong, and our marriage, but I didn't know what. I tried to share my life with her, but she wouldn't share her life with me. I tried to talk to her about it, but she would brush it off and assure me that everything was fine. It wasn't okay, but it was just an affair. She started calling me big guy. She'd say, hey big guy, how was work today, or easy big guy, a girl can only take so much. I thought it was an expression of affection. When I learned the truth, I began to think that maybe it was her way of reminding herself that her husband still came first, or was it outright condescension? Maybe she was mocking me. I thought about how many times we both addressed our son as big guy when he was little, to boost his ego, make him feel important, or to help him overcome the trials of life as a little boy. We would say, hey big guy, how was school today? Yeah, it was definitely condescending. The friends I talked to had mixed opinions. Some didn't like the sound of it and said I should hire a private investigator. I laughed at that, she would never cheat on me, she loves me. She got distracted and over time, that advice echoed in my head. I hired a spy, and it didn't take long. My spy said she would not bring rumors or suspicions to my attention, so try to forget about it for now while she does her job. Eventually, she will let me know if something is going on or not. Not even a week later, I got a call asking me to come to her office. She had everything, pictures, videos, audio recordings. She had everything she needed to break her husband's heart. There was no denying it, my wife had an affair with a guy in her office. He was a little younger than her, he seemed experienced in affairs with married women, he was smooth and made no mistakes. I bet he took his time to insult me at first. He didn't want to alienate her by saying nasty things about her husband, he didn't want to give away his plans. 
Gradually, he drew her to him, wore her down, and turned her head. I knew the type. My spy told me that a woman in her office knew about the affair and encouraged my wife. She said it would be good for her. After all, it would bring us closer together and strengthen our marriage. There would be no harm in never finding out. When did my wife become stupid? I brought the hammer down on her the night before she left on a business trip. That's what she called it. I knew he was going too. I knew what kind of business they would be doing. I sat her down, showed her the report, the pictures, turned on the videotape, so she could listen to her infatuation with this man, who was so good and decent and never wished me harm. I then gave her the divorce papers to sign. It was just an affair, he was never a threat to you. It didn't mean anything, it was just sex. She could barely get the words out between sobs. I gave her an ultimatum, I'd been generous. She had a choice. It was either him or me, and no in-between. No guarantees either. We go to his house together tonight, and she confesses to his wife everything they did, tells her everything, shares my evidence with her, and does it in front of him. Or it's over between us. Tomorrow, she will go to her supervisor, tell him everything, and then ask to be transferred to another department. Either he'll call me and confirm the conversation, or he won't. Either way, there will be a price to pay, and it starts today. But hey, it was just a fling.